welcome to Dishonored at First Glance. It's been, I think, nearly two months since I said to do a first glance, so I guarantee I'm going to be rusty. And what better way to be rusty than a game that requires stealth and subtlety? Because anyone that's ever watched anything I do ever will instantly know that I suck massive amounts of dick when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, what is Dishonored? Before I click this shiny little continue button. Dishonored is, of course, a first-person game. Uh, it's basically stealthy. Uh, Self-contained sandboxes, I guess, would be the best way of putting it. You have missions that you have to do, and you, there are different ways of doing it, and you can do them in any way you like, killing everyone or not killing anyone, or ending up trying to not kill everyone and killing everyone anyway. It's a fantastic game. We got to take a look at it at Gamescom and at Eurogamer as well. I'm really, really looking forward to actually playing this through. So I'm going to go ahead and do first glance. And then we've got uh, Fluke coming in for On Second Thought in a few days' time. I'm going to click Continue. So this is you playing Corvo. And I believe that you're going to see why we are dishonored. Yes. Look at this. Perfect place. So you've only missed a bit of the tutorial. And what this is, is you are the chick's protector that is right next to you. It was the Empress, and you have to protect her. And this is where it starts. See, so protect the Empress and Emily. And it teaches you the combat tutorial, which is press and hold control to block. Like so. And again. And now I can cut him to, well, shiny confetti. And that goes down as well. Success. There you go. Quick tutorial over. Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here. No more. Not again. I am a shitty protector, as you can see. So, girl kidnapped, mum dead. And as you can guess... Corvo, it's all coming apart. Find, find Emily, protect her. You're the only one who'll know what to do, won't you? I'm going to go kill them all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. You traitorous dicks. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him. Let's see if I can hit escape quickly, and I can. Ha ha. Options will turn on user interface. No. Where is it? Audio. There we go. Subtitles. We'll turn subtitles on just for this. Oh, bam! Right in the face. And of course, we are playing Dishonored. Coldridge Prison. Six months have passed since you were accused by the royal spymaster of murdering the Empress and conspiring to abduct her daughter, Emily, the royal heir. Now locked away in Coldridge Prison, the time of your execution draws near. Spoilers, we're probably going to escape, because otherwise it would make a really short game. Coldridge Prison. I can press F to skip, which I'm not going to do. Order shall prevail. This is your final chance, Corvo. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. No. Well, that hurts. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time. Why don't you just fake my signature? Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. Some children in need. This country needs strong leadership. Now. Are we on public TV? The weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this. Yes, there was. You, know, you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. God! Take him back to his cell. In before I managed to escape my cell. Should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. 
Hey, look, I'm going to escape. Okay, so... Am I able to actually utilize any of, like, the UI yet? No. It is bread. We shall eat the bread. Hey, look, a key and an anonymous message. Who we are is irrelevant right now, just now that we have faith. Here is the key. Oh, great, Scientology. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell, and good luck. We need you alive for what's to come. Pick up the cell key. Right, so let's stealth, which is done by pressing C. There we go, I remembered. And we will crawl our way over here, and we'll pick up the sword. And the coins, that's really awkward. The whole, hi, I can hide under a table. Can we not free this guy? Look at him. So can we not like let this guy out? Clearly he's innocent just like us. We didn't murder anyone. You're out. Good for you. Cut some throat. <laughs> Whoops. Um <laughs> Um Let me out. I've got three days before they cut my head off. The solitary wig is off limits to maintenance. We might as well, you know. Kill them all. The sword in hand, assassinate an unaware enemy by pressing left click or approach an unaware enemy from behind and hold left control to perform a non-lethal takedown. Let's go with non-lethal. Uh, let's try non-lethal. Holding it. Can we drag him? Yes. Aha. Ow. Oh, oh. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Come on. Haha. -ha. That's one guy down. Two down. Right. Uh, so the stealth option. I went non-lethal, for God's sake. I, I, my logic was, hey, I'm going to keep them all alive. And then what happens? Somehow they randomly saw me anyway. So I was just like, well, bugger you. Right. Where are we going? Oh, it's a rat. Can we kill it? Yes. In fact, we can cut it in half. Why did they give us a sword? Look, oh great, now they've given us a gun. Because, you know, we weren't bad enough, so we killed what could have possibly been two innocent men and three guys that were one day away from retirement. Whale oil tax, good for the city, good for us all. New price. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted. Unbreakable door. Oh look, things that we cannot break. Yard, walkway, key needed. Okay, approach the ledge and hold spacebar to climb. Oh, we go up. Up. And up. The Hound Pets. Scutter versus Blackie. Hmm. Yay! <laughs> Whale meat. Got everything. More guns. More coins. More whale meat. Jelly deals. Hagfish. More hagfish. Because, you know, we've been in jail for six months. We totally need to eat whale meat. Oh, bugger. Go away. Why? I don't want to kill people. I just want to love. This is just a massive misunderstanding. It, it's all one giant accident. This is back down to the stairs, isn't it? Yeah. Look, it's a rat. And we can now open that door just in case I do something stupid like fall off a ledge. Alright. Yard walkway. Yard walkway key is needed. Get the key from the guard's belt. Which guard? Aha. Uh -huh. Salute that guard. Salute this guard as well. We only have two bullets left. On the bright side, that means that we can only accidentally kill two innocent people. Coins! I love steampunk. Steampunk is always one of my favorite things to do. Second only to, I think, cyberpunk. Hey look, interrogation room. Because, you know, heading down there is totally a great idea. Enter the, enter the interrogation room. Oh yes, the, uh, the exit. The way of getting out. It's just on the other side of the interrogation room. Then you go through the Hall of Pain. And uh, don't forget the broken glass and lemon juice floored corridor. Hold F and look through the key. 
There is no one we can accidentally kill. Let's close the door. In fact, let's crouch as well, just to make sure that we don't do anything stupid. No. Do 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 do. Where are we going? Duty officers report. Corvo Atano, formerly the Royal Protector, will be brought in for interrogation. This is of utmost importance. Lord Regent and High Overseer Campbell will conduct the questioning themselves. Follow the orders without hesitation. Keep torture under control. If Corvo dies instead of getting the public execution, then it's all heads that will roll. Also, someone keeps stealing all of the coins off of our desk. Audiograph player. Oh, really? Right, let's press J and read things. Right, J to access the journal. Objectives, notes, powers, inventory. Click on the tabs to change them. We can't change them. They don't do anything. No, no. Press J to access the journal. Okay. There we go. Now we can. Aha, uh -huh. look at this. Awesome. We have gadgets, ammo, upgrades, keyring, resources. It's always handy when someone carries a keyring around with them, apart from the fact that all the keys look exactly the same, which means in a panicky situation, you're going to have a bit of a problem. Alright, mission clues. We have none. We have no clues. But we do have a task, which is pick up the explosive. Let's use the audiograph. I'm noticing during that, it's like, oh, he was brutally interrogated and tortured, and we tried to make him sign a confession, but they left my hands alone. What was it? A case of like, hey, we need his hands so that he can sign it. So, let's just keep it, you know, above the wrists, guys. Clockwork Explosive. The most reliable and stable of the explosive family. And now we have an empty bottle. Uh, no, I don't think that was what we were meant to do. Hey, look, a book. Except from a book on the esoteric practices of the Abbey. Let's not read this, it's law stuff. If you're really interested in it, then you can read it. We will, however, go and make sure that we uh, riddick some guy. This way, I believe. Let's open the unbreakable door. Alright, by pressing cure E, you can lean around corners, allowing you to look ahead without being seen by enemies. That class, you lazy slug. Alright, there's two guys. Let's... Bam. Hit him in the back. Right, come on then. Come on then. Come on. Fine. Buggy you then. Help, help. I'm being assaulted and battered with a sword. Oh, right in the kidneys. How well do you got? Let's loot the guys. Loot. Loot, loot. I would hide the bodies, but I don't think it really matters. Hey, look, a head. Severed body part. Because this isn't weird at all. The only way this could get creepier is if I held it the other way and enabled it to talk. Can we open this door? We can. Hey, dude, catch! You! Bam! Oh, my word! Come on, come on, come on. Let's try this blocking shenanigan. Come on. Bam. And another guy dead. We need some bullets. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was the best timing I think I've ever had in a game. Come with me, Hedy. I'm gonna name you Brian. <laughs> For we shall free you, Brian. It is the least I can do for everyone else that I've killed. Halt. All throws personnel only. Quick, we will steal the coins. Oh no, Brian, come back. It is an unbreakable door. It's an unbreakable door with a glass window. Hey dude, catch! No, 
Brian isn't suffering any bruising. It's a little odd. Also, bullets come in really small amounts. Let's pick up case of bullets. Get two. I go close the door. Excellent. And we shall arm the explosives on the door. Plant the explosives. And now we should probably run the buggery away. In fact, we will hide down and everything. No kill like overkill. Escape through the outer door. Well, we escaped through the outer door. Oh, we have to jump. Really? No, wait. Where's Brian? Ah, Brian! No. Where'd he go? Does he float? No. Crap. No. Brian, I will never forget you. Where are you? I'm running away. I can heal myself with R. Aha. Oh, I did it again because I instantly went to hit it for the reload button as well. Escape into the sewers. Dun 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 dun. Some of these textures look quite crappy. I, I understand the style they're going for, but unfortunately it makes it look a little bad in places. Stay at Coldridge Prison. Go to the sewers. Use the quick access wheel to restore health. You have escaped the prison with the help of hidden allies. And Brian, if you can reach the Renhaven River, they promise to aid you in your next move. Done wall sewers. Are we going to get to play with any of like the psychic abilities in this? I wonder. How many people do you kill in this way? Everyone. Come on. Ah. Cover, if you're in this, it means the plan work and you're broken is free. One of our contacts has hidden weapons for you somewhere in the sewers. Grab the gear, find Samuel, where these tunnels dump out. He'll bring you to us, a friend who will meet you soon. Um. Up and over then, I'm guessing. Up. 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 Come on. Do, 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 do. Look, rats. Holy crap, the rats messed those guys up. Do, 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 do. And this door cannot be opened. Well, we'll leave the rats to their feast then. Cannot kill the rat's plague. Or rats. So this is one of the other stories that's playing out throughout the game. Ow, 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 ow. Fuck off. Ow, ow, fuck off. Holy shit, get off me. There we go. Right, as I was saying before, I was horribly mauled. This is one of the other stories, and this is um, why you actually left the Empress at the beginning of the game. The little tutorial bit that I skipped just for time reasons. You end up being sent away to deal with the Rat Plague. And obviously you can see it coming into effect here. Let's duck under here because there's probably going to be something hidden. Hey look, I was right. Coins. And a dead guy that was probably killed by rats. So we shall throw over the edge, and he will make a happy plunk sound. And we need to hold F all the way. There we go. I really do not want to drop down there. But we have to anyway. More supplies of food. No bullets though. And a bottle. It's no brine, but it will do. Oh, that's a lot of rats. Okay, I'm guessing the plan here is to not touch the ground. Because, you know, rats. Oh, bugger. Alright, uh, whoop. Oh, I'll poop. Here you go, guys. Eat! Holy crap. Is anything going to happen to the body? I'm not sure. Let's get rid of this one as well. 
We'll throw him over there, which that means that we can go and choose this, hopefully without too much issue. Success, our winner is you. The assassin Corvo has escaped. The outsider walks among us. We'll take the coin pouch. And the rats. You are hidden supplies are up there. We go up the chain. Yes. F is to drop, space for us to jump off. No one will keep us from death. That's a bit grim. Here we go. Up, keep going up, keep going up. And jump. Hmm. How stupid do you think I am? Ow. Okay, that, that was a rhetorical question. Space bars, jump. More coin pouches. I'm not going to touch the corpse. Greetings, or should I say Lord Protector, as you were known before that title was wrongfully taken from you. We are servants of the Empire and of the true Empress. All haste and luck, we share a common purpose. Meet with our man Samuel. Aha, special equipment. Beautiful. We have a crossbow. And a shiny blade. There's Jade to read the journal, which... We're not going to do, because that's just telling us about the quick wheel. Which is really, really easy to use. Alright, where are we going? We shall loot the corpse. And we shall unlock the door. And now we shall run. Ow! To try and speed things up. In case you're too daft to remember, look to your whiskey for the answer. Whiskey, got it? If you want your share, you'll fly out. If not, I'll come back for it next month. Uh, combination required. Look to your whiskey for the answer. Projectile launcher. Launcher disarmed. Hmm. Look for your, to your whiskey for the answer. Alright, then the whiskey is going to be where the answer to... Alright. Can we find the whiskey somewhere? Empty bottle. Try to make a lot of noise There's no herbs. Another empty bottle. Bastard. Okay. Then where is the whiskey? Look to your whiskey for the answer. Right. Then there's got to be whiskey around here somewhere, isn't there? Corpse, no. Empty bottle, no. Another dead body, no. Another dead body. Hemlock essence. Coins. More stuff. Uh, no. Come on. There's got to be whiskey around here somewhere. Oh. Crap shoot. Oh, wonderful. Can we... Yes, we can. Right. Copper wire. A coin. Another empty bottle. And rotting food. Got elixir, pouch. Another empty bottle. Come on, we need like a bottle of whiskey or something. We're not. Maybe it's further on. Well, there you go. So for the safe, you're looking for whiskey. Main pumping station. I'm sure someone will find it if I'm too stupid to. Let us move onwards. It may be further on. Glass. Cabinet. Process whale oil. Empty bottle. Let us drop down. I doubt we can get back up. But, you never know. 
Oh. 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 Come on. Stop moving. Use J to see the drop assassination tutorial, why not? Drop an enemy from above and press left just before landing on him to form a drop and an animation. You won't take any damage. Oh. 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 Pew. More rant skewers. That's a loop this guy is on. Everyone seems to have coin. Yay! Coin! The generic currency. Bam! Right in the face. I'll find you, you hagfish. No, you won't. There's two down. Can't stay hidden forever. One of it. Oh, apparently I have an oxygen bar, so you're right. Alright. Oh. Well, wrong button. I meant to attack that guy with the sword. Oh well. Split all the things really quick. And then we need to get to Samuel, who is there. Oh, uh, Samuel. Where are you, my darling? Oh. Through. And movie stuff. There's been more stuff. Where are we going this way? All the way through. And there's Samuel. I'm a friend. They said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. All right, old man. Let's go. Mission stats, hostile killed, civilian zero, alarms rung, dead or unconscious bodies found six, overall chaos high, didn't kill anyone, ghosts never detected, no special actions accomplished, found, zero ruins, zero bones, and we got 600 out of a thousand coins. There you go, we didn't get to see any of the fun little like psychic abilities like mind control and stuff, but we will discuss those in a lot of detail when it comes to On Second Thought, which will be in a few days time, so there you go, if you like stealthy games, if you like kind of open games you didn't really get to see much of it in this but the story is there in dishonored the freedom is there so to speak you can't go running around the entire city but you get freedom to do the missions the way you like as you saw in the end screen where you could get through it without killing anyone if you really wanted to for certain things anyway if you have any questions queries or comments please do leave them down below and from myself and everyone else at elden 3 we will catch you for the next video peace